Welcome back. So I I suggest viewers to see my previous video to understand this. My my previous video was on printing matrix in spiral form in clockwise direction. Now this is printing matrix in spiral form in anti clockwise direction. Okay. Um, the output expected is one, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. First column first. And then last row, 12, 11, 10, 9. And then last column, 8, 7, 5, 6. Uh, yes, followed by 19, 18, 17, and then 24, 23, 22, and 25. This is expected order of the matrix in spiral form in anti clockwise direction. Okay, first column and then first column, last row, last column, then more, then starting, starting row, starting column, end row, end row, end column, and starting row. Okay, because we keep on adjusting starting row and end row. Assume that starting row is equal to starting column is equal to zero. So I set index of starting row and starting column to zero. Now index of ending row and ending column is set to is set to say four. Okay, because it is a five by five matrix. Highest row index is four and highest column index is four, being starting from zero. Okay, now while while start row is less than or equal to end row and start column is less than or equal to end column do the following. So what is the first leg of printing? First leg of printing, first column. Here what is constant? Column is constant. What is variable? Row is variable, okay? So for row in range, the starting row, to ending row, say plus one, you know why. Okay, print, print which cell, for this cell what is constant, column is constant, what is variable, row is variable. Okay, so starting column. And after printing it have a blank space to distinguish between the elements. Now, first column is done, first column is done. Hope you understand it. First column is done. You step into next column now. How do you step into next column? Starting column plus is equal to one. Nothing but starting column is, incre is incremented by one. Now you are on ending row. Ending row. What is constant row? What is variable column? So for column in range, starting column to ending column. Okay. So Print. print the cell in last row. For the cell in last row, ending row, row number is constant. What is variable? Column. Okay. So have, have a blank space. Now, last row is done. Now step into step into next row. So this is your new new ending row. So what is new ending row? It is old ending row minus one. Okay. Now what is constant here? What is constant here? Column is constant. What is variable? Row is variable. For row in range, for row in range, ending row to starting row. Now proceeding in negative direction. So increment is minus one. Okay. Now what do you print? Print all the cells in that column. Print all the cells in that column. Okay. Row is a variable and column is column end. Fine. Then end is equal to blank space. Next. So next, what do you do? Last column is done. Last column is done. So you are in your new starting row. You are in new starting row. So what should be done? How many are done? One, two, three. No, no. One, two, three. 
two, three. Okay, this is ending column, right? Now this is your new ending column. What is new ending column? Previous ending column minus one. Previous ending column minus one. Okay, you are in first row. So for per column in range, so you are in starting row. So what is the column? Ending column to starting column. Minus one because you are proceeding in upper direction. So what do you print? Print the cell in first row. What is constant? Row is constant. What is variable? Column is variable. Okay. Have a blank space. Now. Now. <clears throat> first column. Last row. Last column. And first row are done. Then you step into next row. You step into next row. How do you step into next row? How do you step into next row? Row start. Row start. A starting row, right? Starting row should be incremented by one and second repeats. Okay. So let us run this program to see the output and see whether we achieved what we want to get. There is something. This is not C. This is E C. End column. This is ending column. Okay. Starting column. C is less than or equal to ending column. One more row start. It is not row start, it is starting row. It is starting row. Okay. So everything seems to be okay. So the output. So check the output. With the expected output. This is First column 1, 16, 15, 14, 13, followed by 12, 11, 10, 9, yes, followed by 8, 7, 6, 5, okay, followed by 4, 3, 2, followed by 17, 24, 23, followed by 22, 21, good, followed by 20, 19. Followed by 1825. Absolutely okay. So this is printing matrix in spiral form in anti-clockwise direction. My previous video was on clockwise direction. So to understand this video, I suggest you to go go to the previous video so that you understand both of them better. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please give your feedback also. Thank you.